I haven't gone to school in Hawaii. Are you a beach guy? Yes. Do you miss the beach now that obviously you're in St. Louis? Yes. <laughs> How often did you get out to the beach when you were in Hawaii? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely tried to go as much as possible. Uh, when I was at home during the off season, you know, it's, it's an everyday occasion. And uh, in school, more because we had more time. Now, are you a big time surfer? Not really a big time surfer, more of a fisherman. And, uh, you know, I just like to just hang out at the beach. Do you ever get a chance to uh, go skiing or go snowboarding? Boarding? I do, uh, well, every once in a while. My uh, fiance is from Ohio, so every time, you know, we'll go up and see her family. It's usually during, like, the uh, winter time. And, uh, you know, we get, we go and see some, some snow a little bit. Now, are you a spam guy? Not really a big spam guy. I mean, I, I eat it for sure. You know, every, everyone growing up in Hawaii, you, you definitely eat spam, but, you know, if I had to choose something else, I probably would. Being in St. Louis now, are you, uh, have you turned into a uh, rib guy? So obviously the St. Louis ribs are pretty big. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I definitely like a rib, some ribs here and there, but, you know, that's just nothing. Barbecue is something I, I've, you know, I think not, not growing up around it, you know, you don't really have that, uh, that taste, that acquired taste you, you want from it, but, uh, you know, I'll definitely eat it when I get the chance. Now, if Steven Spielberg came up to you and said, Colton, I want you to star in my next action film, would you take that lead role? Absolutely. I don't know if I'd be good at it, but I'd try and, uh, you know, I'd try my best. <laughs> now, what kind of actor would you be? I think I'd have to be more of a serious actor. I don't really have that comedic, you know, vibe that I give off. So I think serious would probably come off more as, you know, my cup of tea. Do you remember the first ever autograph that you got? First ever autograph that I got. You know, growing up in Hawaii, you don't really get too many autographs. Especially, you know, I'm not from the main island, so I didn't get a chance to watch college too much. So, yeah, I mean, dang, I couldn't even tell you who was my first autograph I ever got. Now, being from Hawaii, do you consider yourself a city guy at all? Not bad. I mean, uh, you know, I definitely enjoy the city a lot, but, uh, you know, I live a little more in the country, and uh, every time I go home, I just, you know, I remember why I love it so much. You know, just having that peace and that tranquility, you know, definitely makes it a lot better living in the country than it does in the city. If you could ask anybody a question, and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be, and who do you be asking it to? <laughs> um, I'd ask Bill Gates if I could have all of his money. <laughs> and see how that would work out. And what would you do with it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, with the, the amount of money that guy has, you know, it's, it's limitless of what you can possibly do with it. Usually I feel like it gives it away and he's a pretty big philanthropist, so would, would you yeah. take that route or would you kind of go more of the uh, Ferrari, Lamborghini, big house route? I think both. I mean, you know, with the amount of money he has, I think you can give away a lot and still spend a lot. Mm. 